Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, wherever you are. Good day, good night, whenever you see this, good afternoon. I pray that the Lord meets you where you are. I pray that the divine spirit of God lift you up and stir you up, right? And savor everything and give you flavor. Ha. I pray he you be the salt of your generation, the salt of your community, the salt in your workplace, in the atmosphere, wherever you are planted in this season. I pray that you be the savior salt um, for that corporation. I pray that the Lord will continue to establish your feet, establish your mind, <clears throat> establish your hands. Whatever you touch, wherever you go, you are favored tremendously. You are respected and loved because the grace of God is hovering over you. I am well. I know it's been a month. I checked my video and I'm like, God, it's been a month. But um, I'm still focused. Just been busy and I just got over a complete transition in relocating in um, a new environment, a new setting, a new dwelling where the Lord has shown me and has provided tremendously every step of the way. So I'm thankful and I just have to get at it again and give you guys the word <clears throat> because the word is life. The word <clears throat> is a magnet. <clears throat> the word is supernatural. The word is just vibrant, right? So right now I'm working, but I'm just going to share this quick word with you. Isaiah 53. And it says, wherever you are, please, you know, retain, get your Bibles and let's break bread together, right? Whatever it's on your phone or the physical Bible, let's break bread together. I'm working from home, <laughs> but I love it and I'm thankful that I can do this and share my time with you guys as well as communicating with God. Don't mind the physical look right now because God doesn't look at that. He looks at our hearts. And yeah, he doesn't watch our garments, you know. Yes, he wants you to be clean and stuff like that. But I am clean in the name of the Lord. And so you are too. Okay, so Isaiah 53. And it says, um, it's verse 1 through 12. Pretty short, but it's a good read. And I hope you enjoy it as well. I hope you take something and get something from the Holy Spirit this morning. Whatever time you may hear this and whatever time you may receive this. Who have believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he, have, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. So whomever the Lord has established their grounds, right? what you will know the Lord is with you because when the Lord comes and wherever he guides, he provides, right? So you will see the, 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 the repellingness of God just con con constantly sustaining you each step of the way, right? Um, <clears throat> verse two, he have no form nor like, nor coming less comingness. And when he shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him, right? There is no beauty that we should desire him because God accepts us for who we are. He loves us for who we are, just as we are, right? But he calls us into cleanness. He calls us into being transform, transform of the mind, right? And renewing the spirit in you, right? So verse three, he is despised and rejected of men, that's Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our face from him, right? He was despised and we esteem him not, right? Verse four, surely he have borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. You know, he, he bears so much. Christ bears so much for you and I. He bear a lot. He went through a lot, right? Verse five, 
but he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities and chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed, right? Verse six, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. So his father, God, has laid, a, you know, the world burdens upon his shoulder. That's what verse six is declaring. Verse seven, he was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. So with everything that he bear, with all the chastisement, the mockery, the lies, the gossip, and, you know, the tortures and the whipping, he did not open his mouth to complain. He, you know, withhold himself and he took it because he knew that was his purpose. He knows that he knew that was his destiny and his, you know, his purpose of being on earth, right? Verse eight, he was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked. And with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence. Neither was any deceit in his mouth. So when it's verse 9. When it said he made his grave with with the wicked so you know that you know he died for the wicked ones as well he died for the rich one as well as well as he died for the poor right and there was no violence in him he knew he was perfect he knew no sin right so he died for everyone it doesn't matter your race greed you know your nation whatever your religion is he died for everyone it doesn't matter how you look where you're from your color your pigment of your skin right he, we are all created and formed by him, right? So there was no prejudice, no classism, nothing. He bear it all. He took it on. You know, he died for us. Verse 10, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He have put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed and he shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand because he bear it, he bear it all. So everything that the, because he committed to his work, right? He committed to the calling of bearing this cross and all the cross of the nation across the world, right? He bear it. So because of that, God has all things. God has put a, a lot of stripes upon him, just like, a. Uh, a uh, sergeant or a high you know in command they go to battle and they 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 cover their their troops that's that they're leading right and they protect a nation or wherever they're assigned they protect so the enemy does not go in and devour or to kill steal and destroy right and they come out um victorious after whatever whenever their assignment is up or finished right and they get these stripes right they come out as a warrior as a you know that lead and nothing there was no um mutation no brutality nothing right everyone would came back everyone returned to their homeland without a bruise right so they get these stripes they get these accolades it's just like Christ right he was con he conceived the 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 birth of all the evil whatever it was he conceived it all he took it on all so because of that his due reward right for being um obedient to his father right he got all these pins and reward and all these accolades and all these power and supernatural gift to you know keep his people and to keep us right and when we ask of him anything right he has the authority from his father to pronounce it right to manifest it to um to call it into fruition right so that's what verse 10 and verse 11 he shall see he shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many. So God calls him his servant, 
right? He's justified in the eyes of God, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he have poured out his soul in, unto death. That's deep. That's verse 12. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, right? And he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he have poured poured out his soul unto death and he was numbered with the transgressors and he bare the sins of many and made intercession for the transgressors so it's just like me or many other saints of god are in christ right many other believers they go they're missionaries there's you know all these women and men of God that God has called to diff to do different service, right? They go into war, war like the most scariest point of um in these depthful place on the earth, right? And they get things done and they, you know, s you know, s share the word of God and preach the gospel, right? And it's just like that, right? So we are partakers of the ear of Jesus Christ, right? So our work or my work, your work as a believer, right, is to share and, you know, to take on burdens and to fight battles or whatever your duty is or whatever your calling, your purpose is and your destiny is, right, is the same thing. It's a, it's a mimicking, it's an imagery of Jesus Christ, right, and how he, how he performed, how he delegated, how things, how he um, performed things and how things was done, right, how he carried out his work. So, and therein, there ends the reading of our word, verse 12. Therefore, will I divide him a portion with the great? So God is saying here that you being a servant, you being a believer, right? You being the righteous one, he's gonna, he's gonna divide, right? Your portion is gonna be great, right? You don't have to worry despite what you may face, despite what you may go through. As long as you keep your eyes to the hills from whence cometh your help, right? And that's heaven, right? So you know that your portion will be great. Your portion is divine. Your portion is tremendous, right? And if you are a believer and you are living according to the will and the way of God every day, right? Also repenting if you fall or fail in any way he is just to hear and to release you or to forgive you right so you keep on moving you keep on toil toiling right you keep on stirring up you keep on being a salt in any corporation in any environment right because we know that god is a do he's a diligence he is he is just and he will accomplish that which he sends his word or his people to get accomplish whatever he 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 is stirring you up to do this season it will be accomplished it has to get accomplished right and um so i i hope you're you got something from this i hope isaiah 53 kind of give you a, a more in-depth or revelation and um just know that whatever your assignment is in the lord that you have all you need to get it accomplished. You have all you need to, to sustain and to be positioned and not to feel weary or burdensome, right? He he is a God that he lifts the burdens, right? And once you are his and once you are you are on an assignment, he has to give you, he has to refuel you, he has to fill you up, right? So don't get weary in any season. And this half of the year of 2022, I want you to reposition your feet in the in good grounds. Reposition your mind, your spirit, your body, your heart in good grounds. Reposition your your wholesomeness and your truth in God, right? For he cares for you and he will he is a promise maker. He is a truth maker. Right? He is a a deliberate God. And he will do all he promised to do, right? But you just have to be grounded. You have to be rooted. <laughs> you have to be rooted in him. And that's that's just the truth. You have to be rooted in God because he is sovereign. He is holy. That's why he said, be he holy for I am holy, right? So when you are in God or in Christ, the Lord, 
He supply all your needs according to his riches and power, right? So you have to believe that. And whatever you're going through, whatever um, chastisement may come against you, whatever ridicule, whatever backlash, whatever it may be that may arise in this season, in the second half of this year, I want you to stand firm. I want you to conform your mind, your spirit, your body to the word of God. Get rooted in the reading. Get more biblical understanding and praise God and worship God and just say, Lord, here I am. Use me as you wish. Lord, here I am. Use me for your divine purpose to accomplish and to, you know, to reach others. And to sometimes we have to be selfish, selfless, sorry. You have to be selfless to say, you know what, despite how busy I am, but I, I'm willing for, for, for me, I'm willing to be used as a vessel. Use me, Lord. Let me not be selfish with my time, you know, because the world, the, the Bible said the harvest is ripe, right? And sorry if I'm not quoting that the right way, but the harvest is ripe. And there's a lot of people and persons out here in the world amongst us, right? Going day by day that don't know God, that doesn't believe and they just need you to encourage them they need, just need you to share a word or share a testimony of how god is how great the lord has been in your life and how he has done some tremendous things right um for me i promised on the last video that i would share a testimony and it's deemed fit that i do that now right i was living in east hampton for a period of time and I asked the Lord as I said to you in the last video to use a stranger to bless me into the new environment um location where you want me to be or uh, just to use a, a stranger to bless me and he has done that and he gave me a zip code to where he wants me to relocate and I asked him I was like Lord should I go to Florida should I go to Atlanta should I go to New Jersey? Because those are all offices where my company has location in. And he gave me a zip code that I would have not even think about moving here where I am presently, right? And when he gave me the zip code and I looked it up and I was like, really, Lord? <laughs> yes. And the Spirit of God said, yes. And I was like, I don't, I don't know no one there. I don't have anybody there. You know, my mom is like two and a half hours away, close friends or relatives are two hours away. So it's just me and my children and the Lord, right? That goes before me. But I strongly believe that wherever he guides me, he's providing and he shall provide, right? As he has done. So I asked him to use a stranger to bless me. And he did just that. So moving here, I was able to get a fully, fully, full course furniture from room to living room, everything that I could ever ask of and more like he just, I don't know. He just took my breath, you know, like it's just now my faith has increased to 10th power. There's, I can never doubt God. And he did this before the month of May was, you know, ended. He did it before it ended as I asked. And he used this stranger to bless me. They provided me with, even with this bed that I'm sitting on, right? So it's a lot. And God is just, just great. He's just great. And I believe that everything work in order because where he was telling me to go, I was like, really? I don't know nobody there or, you know, stuff like that. And everything is step by step i see where everything is just aligned and coming together and it's just coming here i just feel good i look different i feel different the hair the atmosphere everything i can you know just everything is just here i feel it and i'm just thankful and i just want to share that because i promised that i would give that testimony and for the second half of 2022, I declare that God is going to do above and beyond supernaturally in my life and for you guys' life, right? And whatever you're trusting God for, I pray that he move earnestly, fervently, speedingly in the name of Jesus, right? Because he promised to, that wherever we are, he will be there, right? If we lay our bed in hell, he is there. And I'm just asking that you will just get closer to God, draw closer to God, because of the time and the, the season that we're in. It's not a time to derail, right? You know how the trains derail? 
Yeah, don't derail your walk with God. You know, don't divert and go to the left. No, just stay on the path. Stay on the straight and the narrow, right? Because in the straight and the narrow, you will have fullness and goodness and grace and mercy. You will be filled and satisfied in all ups, ups in all areas of your life. There'll be no obstruction. And I'm declaring that over your life that nothing shall come against against you. You're for for his will and for his countenance, you are declared in this season to go forward to move in the name of jesus there'll be no boundaries everything that you need he is supplying it and i'm declaring that over your life whoever you are believe with me as i tap in and declare this over your life that god is a refurnish he will refurnish you he will bring you back to newness that whatever you're lacking he will supply all your needs that you will lack no good thing right because he's faithful he's just he is wonderful and i just wanted to share that i don't want this video to be drawn out so isaiah 53 you can read it for yourself and i pray that the spirit of god will just rest upon you and satisfy all your thirsting desire and that he will replenish you in the season. And I pray that he will just allow you to glow and glow up, right? And provide everything that you need. Your household is comforted. The peace of God is in your home. The peace of God is in your job. The peace of God is in the assignment that is assigned to you that you need to move your feet to get accomplished, to get started in this season right now. In the precious name of Jesus, I speak fire over your life. I speak everything of justification over your life i speak glory over your destiny i speak awesomeness and truly i cut every cord in the name of jesus over your life every dispensation shall not ha ha shetere roko si grip onto you anymore right now you are moving elevating soaring beyond your enemies soaring beyond every lack every every thought of negativity in the name of jesus every dispensation is falling right now in good ground oh lord everything oh lord that wanted to cripple you is dried up in the name of jesus i speak conviction over your heart and your mind and your spirit come forward in the lord move in the mighty and righteousness of god because he cares for you he hears you he loves you he knows your name he knows your location fret not thyself because of evil doers because we serve a god that is mighty to the pulling down of every stronghold and the lord god almighty will destroy every crown of evil that was placed over your head in the name of judgment hush Shata roko si arabo shekere bo siyan abba father Emmanuel God with me God with them in the name of Jesus declare it now in the lives of your heart ha shata roko siyan how deep is the well of your heart for Jesus Christ how deep is the well of your heart for Jesus Christ how deep is the wealth of your heart for Jesus Christ how deep is the well of your heart for Jesus Christ. Let the Spirit of God continue to flow in your heart, in your mind, in your environment. Ha shata roko si. I pray correction of your feet. I pray He's turning you around upon the path of righteousness. Ha. I pray He is establishing your hands and your feet. Wherever you are planted, wherever He wants you to be, you will not miss an exit. The navigation of Jesus Christ of Nazareth will steer you in the way you need to go. You are grounded. You are full and bountiful in jesus precious name you are mighty because the lord god is strong and we thank you for this ha shata i thank you for today lord i thank you for today and forevermore i thank you for today i thank you for victory i thank you for your mercy i thank you for your peace i thank you for your love for you are good and you are god i thank you for everything be blessed be rooted because he cares for you, he knows your name, and he loves you, right? So move and have your being with God. Speak to him, be rooted, be graceful, be divine, as he cares for you and he lifts you up. Move your feet, be attentive to what he's showing you and what he's doing in your life, right? Call upon his name, for he is worthy and he loves you. Be immaculate, be good, Go and go forward in the Lord thy God. Ha, shata. The Lord is good. He is good. 
He is great. He is mighty. Like Tony the Tiger, he is great. <laughs> he is great. Be blessed, everybody. Thank you for coming and thank you for always just being committed with me. I promise you, being in this place now, I'm able to think, just be obedient. The Lord has given me such a big space. I can record and do my videos and just be good and just be radiant in the Lord. Be radiant in the Lord. Be radiant in the Lord. He is going to cause his hand to shine, his face to shine upon you. Trust him. Fall on him, your knees and speak to God. Call him, Habba Father. Here I am. I need you now. What should I do? What is my next thing? What is my assignment? Give me understanding. Let me be wise as Solomon, but don't let me be foolish in the name of Jesus. Be great and let it be well always. Bless. Be rooted. Be rooted. Be rooted. Stay tuned. Share my videos because you have many more coming from the Lord. Be blessed. Much love.